Hello there. Welcome. My name is Calliope, and I'm so very pleased to have you here. We have a very special type of examination that I'd appreciate your participation in. And I'd really like to get started if you don't mind. Wonderful. So, for this examination, I am going to need to be touching you. Is that okay with you? Have your consent to do that. Perfect. Thank you. Today we are going to be focusing on three very specific types of manual diagnosis methods. We are going to be doing palpation, percussion, and auscultation. Now, generally, these are done in a very specific manner based on what body part we are examining. But today, the core objective is the experience rather than what we're looking for, right? Very good. So, I'd like to start with the palpation, if you don't I'm going to be focusing on the face, of course. I will also be looking below the jaw here. We have the suprahyoid muscles. We come down into the neck, maybe a bit right in this upper clavicle or supraclavicular region as well. Do let me know if at any point you feel any pain or are uncomfortable at all, right? So, to start, we're going to work with your face. And, of course, I like to start at the very top. to be my particular favorite place to start. So what we can do here, very gently part the hair, and we can just take a little look from the midline and work laterally. So that we get in here by the ears, so we work midline out and around and back. Making our way back to the midline on the other side. Here. And then we can work our way back up. Round the ear. And then right back here. over the ear. Good. 
feature by feature. And just feel for things like textural differences, places perhaps where the skin is overly warm or cold. Maybe there's a tender spot or something that gets overly red when palpated. Along the jaw, even right up. And how is all of this? No pain or tenderness? deeper into that in just a moment. Okay. Then I'm going to come back behind you and we're going to feel some of the lymph nodes here. I'll start with the occipital nodes, right generally by the hairline. And we'll sweep to post-auricular, pre-auricular, in front of the ears, come down for the submental, submandibular, and then the different chains of cervical nodes here, supraclavicular. So let's come right back in here for occipital. right by the occiput and then we're going to come right in behind the ears there and in front of the ears good Right under the jaw. These ones can be a little tricky here. Okay, just getting a bit of a, a rolling motion here. Mastoid muscle here. Then we have superficial cervical, deep cervical chain, posterior cervical. Right back in here. Feel all around these areas. And then we come down to C. 
supraclavicular right in here. Good. Now I'd like to just feel around the neck and upper clavicle area here. Didn't get to feel the actual skin. It's not what we were focusing on. Good. Good. And making sure not to put any pressure right here. That's not a fun feeling. There's no need for that. Good. And if I just come down, so I have the clavicles here and just the anterior part of the trapezius. It's this very front part. going all the way to the back. Good. Okay, so I think the palpation portion is complete. And now I'd like to move on with some auscultation. So we're going to be using this stethoscope here to auscultate all around. Now it's very common that one listens with the stethoscope on the chest and the back, sometimes the abdomen, sometimes the throat even, but one can also auscultate some of the pulse points as well. And since we're not doing this to diagnose necessarily, we're going to do some of that funsy stuff, okay? So first I want to start right here. You may be able to feel a little bit of a pulse in your temples. So I'm going to start putting the diaphragm of the stethoscope at the temples. We're just going to listen to the pulse point here. There we go. So if you'd like to just breathe normally here, don't need you to do anything special until we move to the lungs. Good. Right in here. Okay. So repositioning as necessary. Good. And then I'm just going to use the bell of the stethoscope. Your diaphragm here is better for your higher pitched sounds, and the bell is better for the lower pitched sound. So I'm just going to come right here, reposition as needed. There we go. You get a bit of a different sound to listen to. Good. And then right here. Hmm. There we go. This can be a little tricky sometimes. I'm sure if you've tried to find your own pulse or heartbeat 
in a place other than your radial artery here can be a little tricky. Most notably, the popliteal pulse can be a rather tricky one. That one's behind the knee, so you have to get a bit of a bit of a maneuver in there to try to feel that one. Now I'm going to be listening to the carotid artery, and generally when we do this, we are listening for bruits or audible heart murmurs. So I'm going to have you take a deep breath in and hold. Just going to put it right here. Do your best just to keep that breath held. Good, and exhale. Good. Take another deep breath in. And hold. Good. Good. Go ahead and exhale. We'll turn it to the bell. Take a deep breath in. And hold. You can exhale, deep breath in, hold, good, and exhale. Now you might be feeling a touch out of breath with that. So before we move on to the heart and lungs, I'll just be listening around to some other pulse points and give you a bit of breathing room as it is. So I'd like to take a listen to the radial artery here, if you don't mind. The ulnar is a little bit tricky, but there's no harm in just taking a listen. So if I could just have your wrist here. And then we'll just listen a little bit. Okay. And the other side. And if I could listen to the crook of your elbow, right in here, the brachial pulse. I'm just going to locate that. That radio pulse is so easy to pinpoint. Brachial can be too, but it's good to just have a feel. There we go. And the other side. Here we go. Good. So how are we feeling about our lungs? Do you think perhaps we could take a listen to your heart and lungs? Okay. I don't want you to get lightheaded at all, so if at any point it is too much, just let me know. Okay? So let's start with the heart and just give you a bit more time. So I'm going to start with the diaphragm here, and you can continue to breathe normally. 
we start with the aortic area. Good. Nice and slow. And then the pulmonary. and the mitral and then for the apex beat this should be around the mid clavicular line fifth intercostal space. So I'm going to just map out here the midclavicular line and then along the sternum I can count these intercostal spaces, the spaces between your ribs. And then we just match the two. Now let's go to the bell and we'll start again at the aortic area. Pulmonary. Tricuspid. Mitral and we've still got that apex beat spot right here. Good. Now let's listen to the lungs. This time I'm going to have you breathe as I guide you to. So if you could just take a deep breath in and out and the other side, deep breath in and out and going down, deep breath in and out Deep breath in and out. 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 Good. And now we can listen to 
the abdomen here. We can listen to the aorta, we can listen to the renal arteries, so you can continue to breathe normally here. I'll just take a little, a little listen. Good. Right, and just keep breathing normally and I'm going to listen around the abdomen here. Just like that. Very good. Okay. And just going to flip over the stethoscope. Just do a nice little run through. I feel that it's better to be a little extra thorough rather than a little less. Now, what else we could auscultate is, again, generally pulse points, and instead I'd like to pivot to percussion. Now, with percussion, there are a couple of types. You have direct percussion, you have indirect percussion. Direct percussion is percussing directly on the body. So, for example, when we are assessing the sinus cavities, the frontal, the ethmoid, and the maxillary cavities, we are directly tapping on those. When we are doing, for example, the chest wall or the abdomen, we do an indirect percussion. And this involves us using one hand as a buffer and one hand as our percussion. And we just tap. I like to get a bit of a... And hear the sound rebound after that second tap. And I'm going to be starting with these sinuses and doing our direct percussion. So let me know if there's any pain or tenderness as I'm doing this. I'm going to start by pressing. If there is any pain, I don't want to exacerbate that. So we're going to start by just pressing. 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 And pressing. 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 Okay, and how was all of that? Alright, I figured you would let me know, but I just want to make sure. Now I'm just going to be tapping along the forehead to start. Just like this, just very gentle. All good? Okay. Right in here. Go at the same time. 
that. That was all that. Very good. Now we'll do some indirect percussion on the chest wall. So you do not have to breathe in any sort of way. I'm just going to be placing my hand around the chest and I'm going to do some of that tap tap tapping. Okay? Good. And the back as well. You'll give me just a moment. And along the back. and along the abdomen here, right? So I'm just going to we're gonna listen for the sounds that come back. Listen for dullness, hyper resonance. I think that's enough to give us a good idea about what's going on. So, I think that's going to about do it, unless there was anything you wanted to revisit. Yeah, I can try to do some of that indirect percussion along the face. It's not really going to yield us anything, but it might be interesting to try. Okay, I think that's the furthest I comfortably wish to go down, as I don't want to be getting into the neck with that. So, finishing with a little bit of percussion on the face. Okay? What's 
that? Yes, we can do one last round of auscultating with the lungs. I can get untangled here. I think that's the main use of a stethoscope, is to tangle in anything it can. All right, one last encore. If you could just take a deep breath in for me. And out. Good, nice and long. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. Deep breath in and out. Okay. okay. And that'll wrap it up. All right. So, I'd like to thank you so much for your participation with this examination. I do wish to inquire how you found it. doing some things that wouldn't have any clinical significance, but the whole point was the experience of the matter. So how was that for you? Very good. Well, if you do wish to do this again, do let us know, and we can absolutely make that happen for you. I hope that you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night. Sci-fi.